Hello, in this presentation I'll be showing you how to create an index in Microsoft Word 2010. I'll just press Control End from the keyboard to get to the very end of this document. And here on the very last page is an index that I created earlier. It's a pretty standard sort of index. It is typically found at the end of many books. So I'll show you how to create something like this. So here I am in, micro, in a Microsoft Word file, very little formatting indeed. At the end of this file, I'll be creating my index. So I'll begin by going to the very top and clicking on References, on the References ribbon, and it's this index section that I'll be using. So you just highlight a word, you double click on a word um, that you want to be included in your index, and then you click on Mark Entry. Click on Mark All. And that word has been included in your index. I now go back to the document and highlight another word. Click on the title bar of the Mark Index Entry dialog box. Click on the Mark All button and find myself another word. Um, I'll choose descriptive, click on title bar, mark all. I'll choose indicators, title bar, mark all. You can close this, scroll down, find another word that you're interested in, mark entry, mark all, and you can close if you want. Well, there's an important word, outcome, mark entry, mark all. I'll leave it open this time. Click here on the document, scroll down, demonstration, click on the dialog box's title bar, Mark all. Scroll a bit further down. Criteria. And that's found on page three, of course. Click on the dialog box's title bar. Mark all. And I'll close. I'll press Control N from the keyboard. Again from the keyboard, control enter to insert a page break. I'm at the start of a new page now. I'll type in the heading index, press enter. And then I'll click on this button here. It's my insert index button. I'll click on it. I'll choose a classic index, right align page numbers. might have a tab leader with some dots, run in, click OK, and there I have my index. It's all pretty straightforward. And the beauty of it is, if I decide to include another word, such as information, out of references, mark it, mark all, close. I'll go down the bottom here, back to my index. Information isn't there, but if I click on my index, do a right mouse button click and update the field, information is there. It's very much there. And so I'll just click on the Home ribbon, click on that Show Hide button, and creating an index is as simple as that. 